I am in heaven. Hello everyone and welcome to not the first episode of my new series, but a mod showcase of a mod that is in my new series, which is a mod that you have never seen before because it's my mod? <laughs> Welcome to the Stacy's Wolves mod. So I'm going to uh, go over everything that is in the mod. And I've never done a mod showcase before, but I figured I should do it. Oh, this is awkward. Some Mesa wolves have spawned in my mod showcase. Um, anyway, I figured I would do uh, a mod showcase because, like I said, this is my mod, which... It's kind of a weird thing to say. I didn't expect to have a mod, so here's how this all went down. It all started with this guy right here, the Dirt Dog. So a couple weeks back, I did an April Fool's joke where I pretended it was my new series in the Mesa, and it was all about dirt, and I had a Dirt Dog. Well, I loved the way that the Dirt Dog looked, and I considered adding him in the series because I thought he was so cute. Uh, at the same time that that was happening, I was also playing around with adding one more mod to my mod pack, which was a mod that added dragons uh, in different kinds of biomes that had the characteristics of those types of biomes. Uh, but unfortunately, what happened with that mod is that it broke quite a few of the other mods that I have in my series and so I brought this up to the people who are helping me put together the mod pack and they actually said well why don't we just build you that mod uh, ourselves and take out all the bugs so I said great and then it got to the point where they needed a model for the dragons and I was like well I don't have a, a, my own model for the dragons I guess we could use wolves and then I was like oh uh, wait a minute yeah, use wolves! Let's use wolves! And so we did, and the resulting mod is Stacy's Wolves. Now, I will say that I could not have done this without the help of uh, everyone that I will put in the description below, including Snowshock35 from Feed the Beast, and then of course Lyriel, who coded the mod, and Nathan One Day and Jess Panda from the Wall Shirts build team, who did all of the textures. Uh, for the mod. I came up with what wolves there should be and what recipes for the bones there should be, which you will understand in a minute when I start going through it. Um, so like it was kind of my idea, but none of it would have happened without all of those guys. So I feel weird saying it's my mod, but I guess it kind of is. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to do a mod showcase for every mod that's in the new series, uh, but I thought I would have to do one for this one because... Well, there is no mod showcase for this one. So this mod uh, is for 1.7.10 and it adds 23 new types of wolves to the mod. Uh, 24 if you count the default vanilla wolf, which we will spawn at the very end. Uh, and I will now go through all of the different kinds of wolves. So you have, of course, the dirt wolf. Hello. And this is the, oh, it's called the earth wolf. Sorry. Now, every wolf has a specific bone that you have to craft, and that is the only kind of bone you can use to tame them. So the earth wolf needs the earth bone, and you get that by combining a bone with a wooden shovel, uh, and then you can get the earth bone. And it just is like regular wolves where you don't know how many bones it's going to take to tame them. Uh, next, we have the birch dog. See how its face is kind of like the birch texture of the plank? That was my idea. And then its tail is like a birch leaf that's transparent. That was Nathan's idea. Uh, and I just think he's so cute because he almost looks like a Dalmatian. And his recipe, oh, I don't have the spawn egg in there. Okay, I added the spawn egg and just went into creative. So this is the birch wolf and you get his bone by taking a regular bone with a birch sapling and then you get this lovely little birch bone for you. Next is the desert wolf. Uh, this is a very prickly bone, the cactus bone, uh, bone plus cactus. And actually, see how he matches the sand texture completely? And look at his tail. His tail is a cactus. How cute are you? I am in love with this mod. Okay, this is the savanna wolf now. He doesn't really look like he blends into the savanna here because we're in a mesa. But 
if you see him in a savanna, he definitely blends in. And this recipe is uh, grass, I believe. I probably should know that since this is the official mod showcase. Uh, but yes, I believe it's bone plus grass equals the savanna bone. And that is how you tame uh, him. Now, this, of course, is the mesa dog with the mesa tail. That was my idea. Uh, and he's just the texture of hardened clay, which is what you see uh, mostly in the mesa. And his uh, he likes munching on dead bushes. So a bone plus a dead bush gets you the mesa bone uh, to tame this guy. Now, so far, most of those bones have been pretty easy to craft. You're not going to have a hard time getting shovels or saplings or cactus or uh, grass or dead bushes even. But there are some bones coming up here that are actually quite difficult. Uh, that would be kind of a challenge to get a wolf. So I think it's a really... Uh, I'm excited to play it. I know it was kind of like, well, should I be doing this mod showcase if I'm going to have this mod in my mod pack? But it's going to be a real fun challenge to play this in survival and try to collect all of the wolves myself in survival. Um, okay, moving on. This is the flower. Well, what's it called? It's official name. Yeah, the flower wolf. And you have to combine bones with peonies to get the bone bouquet and its texture. Come here, let me let me show you around. They kind of move uh, they kind of move a little bit fast. I think that in the new version of the mod they they move regular, but he's got like um, kind of like the peony and the azure blue texture. Uh, on him uh, and he blends in perfectly oh my gosh uh, it's been kind of self-explanatory I think but I totally didn't even mention every wolf spawns in the biome that goes along with it so uh, the dirt wolf you will find or the earth wolf you find pretty much um, in like oak forests but you'll also find him every now and then just like in other biomes because there's dirt pretty much everywhere in Minecraft uh, you are in birch forests for the most part. You are obviously in deserts. You are in savannas. Obviously, the name is pretty self-explanatory. Mesas. Um, you are in flower forests. You, my cute, adorable little, uh, mushroom wolf. Uh, that's a mushroom. And then you get the bone shroom. Uh, this guy is found in mushroom islands where you can find mushrooms, but he is also found in roofed forests because there's mushrooms there so isn't he cute like his little white nose and his legs are like the stalks of the mushrooms this is one of my favorites i mean honestly they are all my favorites and they are all my new babies okay and you might be asking if you're a viewer of my channel why i didn't add this mod to dogcraft but I have so many realistic breeds of dogs in Dogcraft. I really wanted my modded series to have like uh, a creative twist to it. And there's tons of other mods uh, that you will see when the series premieres that are like crazy. And I think that this mod fits in perfectly with that. So I hope you guys are excited. Uh, let's move on. Let's see. This is the Ice Wolf. And you will find this wolf in like Extreme Hills or like snowy biomes uh and you get this wolf by is it ice wolf yeah ice wolf uh a snowball and a bone of course equals the snow bone and you'll have to have lots of those uh to tame you little buddy you are so cute oh you're slipping around i'm sorry uh there you go all right next one the ocean wolf it is a mermaid wolf he looks a little silly when he's walking but when he is swimming, he looks, a come back here, come back here, come back and get in the water and show everyone your cute tricks. Come on, come on. There you go. Oh, swimmy little swimmy ocean wolf. Uh, this guy is found mostly in beaches. By the way, you can breed all of these wolves, but you can't breed them together. I don't know. Ah, no, 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 no. Teleport. Teleport, ocean wolf. Oh, ocean wolf. You, s ocean wolf? Are you glitched in the ground? Oh, no. Ocean wolf is glitched in the ground. Come back, ocean wolf. Uh, okay, you can sit there for now. Um, anyway, so I didn't go over the recipe for that, but like I said, you can breed them with, uh, with wolves of the same kind. So you could breed like two ocean wolves together and get a baby, and the babies are even more adorable. 
than the normal uh, size wolves. Trust me. Uh, so this guy is going to be prismarine crystals uh, to get the wet bone. And you might be wondering how I have prismarine in 1.7.10, but that's I'm using another mod. Uh, that's in the mod pack that gives you 1.8 items like sea temples, rabbits, armor stands, um, and all the prismarine blocks. So that is the answer to that. All right, moving on. Speaking of which, we have the prismarine dog, another one of my absolute favorites. And this is prismarine shards uh, to get the prismatic bone for the prismarine wolf. I keep saying dog or wolf. Uh, but yeah. You're adorable. And let's see, this is the nether, well, what are you called? The nether wolf? Yeah, nether wolf. And they are obviously found in the nether. Oh, I didn't say where you guys are found. Um, whoa, the prismarine just changed. Um, you guys should be found in deep ocean, but because there aren't sea temples in 1.7.10, unless you're running the other mod uh, that makes it possible, uh, there might be a crafting recipe for your spawn egg, which would be great because then I could get you right away. No, not true. I'd have to find a sea temple. But on the plus side, the sea temple would be easy to raid because there's no guardians. Wait, but do... Can you get the crystals from just the lanterns? Oh, whoa. I'm... That, oh, that's so cool. Uh, anyway, I'm not entirely sure about you, the Prismarine Wolf. I'm a little fuzzy on you, but I'm sure it'll uh, all make sense once I'm actually playing with the mod. Um, okay, Nether Wolf. Uh, it's actually a magma cream uh, to get the magma bone. I tried when I was creating the recipes to not use actual blocks because I just thought, like, what, what wolf would eat a block? You know what I mean? Whereas a magma cream or a snowball is like a ball. So, of course, a wolf would eat a ball. Uh, and so that makes total sense. And this guy has nether rack, but then also his tail and his legs are like nether brick. And he actually is found in the nether. You have to go to the dimension uh, to get this wolf. And then you're going to have to carefully bring him back uh, through the portal. And now... <laughs> one of my favorites. I call you the scientist. <laughs> I had sent Nathan the idea of using eyes of Ender for his eyes, and then they just kind of turned into glasses because you're epic. And these wolves are actually found in the end dimension. So this is actually probably the hardest wolf in the entire game to get because not only do you have to get uh, eyes of ender to craft the end bone in addition to finding the stronghold and putting eyes of ender in the portal then you must also uh well yeah you must also kill the ender dragon and then well now wait a minute can you push a dog through the portal and get him back? These are the questions I probably should have answered before doing a mod showcase, but you'll have to let me know in the comments if there is any way to get the end dog back from the end. Because now that I'm thinking about it, you'd have to jump into the portal after you kill the ender dragon and that would roll the credits, but then you just respawn and I don't think your dog would be with you. This might need a crafting recipe as well. Um, you might be impossible to get, scientist, but you sure are adorable. Uh, okay, so moving on now, we have the ore wolves. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly because they're pretty self-explanatory. You have the iron wolf, which is with an iron ingot to get the iron bone. Uh, these guys are all found underground. The gold wolf, obviously, to get the gold bone. Redstone to get the red bone. Um, I like how your eyes are, your eyes are the color of the ore. Uh, emerald, of course, emerald bone, and diamond. Uh, this is also going to be a hard wolf, because what if this wolf takes, like, ten bones? That would cost you ten diamonds to get the ten diamond bones that you need. Uh, okay, now for a very special wolf. This is the cloud wolf and as you can see he doesn't have any ears and he also doesn't have any legs he is completely floating like a cloud and these guys are only found above y level 95 so in my mod pack 
I have a lot of biomes from Biomes of Plenty that are taller than Y95, but if you're playing in a regular world, that's probably only Extreme Hills uh, that will have land above Y95. And they just kind of float around. Like, look at him. He's like a cloud. Come here, little guy. Uh, and so I was really proud of my recipe for this guy. Uh, it is actually a glass bottle. Uh, and see the little bone with the stopper on it. So it's like you've bottled air, and that's how you get the cloud wolf. Uh, there you go. They do look a little weird when you sit them down, <laughs> um, but they look pretty amazing, uh, especially when they don't have the collar on, when you just, like, find them. Here, I'll just spawn one. When you just find one up in, like, cloud level. Oh, they look so cool. Like, not with the mesa on the background, but like when you actually are up in the, the Minecraft clouds, they're pretty epic. Hi, Kai. Can I tame you with one bone? All I have is one bone. Come here. There. Oh, no, I'm in creative mode. There you go. Woohoo! Uh, okay, you guys sit down, sit down. And now we have the Blaze Wolf, complete with Blaze Particles. And this guy is located in, of course, the nether, and you have to use a blaze powder to get the blaze bone. Now, if you bring this guy back, I will say that you need to be very, very careful because he follows the properties of a blaze. So, I'm sorry, I have to do this, it's a mod showcase. It's gonna start to rain. Oh, oh, this is, oh, this is fantastic, I live in a mesa. It doesn't rain in the mesa. You're saved. You're saved, Blaze Wolf. Uh, in a normal uh, world, if it starts raining, a Blaze will die, and this wolf will also die. Uh, but I live in the mesa, so you are spared. Oh, that's fantastic. I love how he has the actual fire particles. You are amazing, buddy. Okay, now these next three wolves are based off of hostile mobs. So you have the Ender Wolf, which you can actually, I love, his eyes are the dark purple, but sometimes I see the eyes as the black and he looks like really derpy from a distance. Um, but he is obviously based off of the Enderman and he has the Enderman particles. And that is an Ender Pearl. Uh, and a bone gets you the ender bone and these guys spawn rarely at night just like enderman uh, Here is the zombie dog and this is the uh, the bone wolf uh, So this is bone meal plus a bone gets you a bony bone uh, And I need to show you something with the eggs of these guys, uh, but look how cool he is. He's like transparent Look at you, buddy. You need to eat something. Uh, and then this guy's got, like, the Steve outfit on, just like a regular zombie. Uh, hello, random Mesa Wolf. Anyway, so this is Rotten Flesh. Gets you the Zombone. Uh, and let me take the spawn egg of this. So, the tamed versions of the dogs are totally fine. Um, time set night. Uh, okay, let's spawn a zombie dog and a bone dog. So these spawn at night. See how he has the zombie eyes? Uh, but he has regular tamed wolf eyes. So these guys tamed will be totally fine in the daylight. But these guys... I'm really sorry. It's a mod showcase. These guys are going to burn to death. Just like their mob counterpoints. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, and they should be found anywhere that you find zombies and skeletons. So they're actually really, really common at nighttime. Uh, but like I said, if you don't tame them during the nighttime, they will, uh, they will be gone and they will die. Okay, Ocean Dog, stop stealing the spotlight. Get away from the star of the show. <gasps> you just knocked him off of his throne. This is Cake Dog. This is another one of my favorites because of his little cute nose. And if you sit on the cake, you kind of blend in. Uh, so this guy is obviously made with a cake. And that gets you the cake bone. He really loves delicious cake. Can you blame him? And he's one of the more harder wolves to find because he only spawns in villages. So luckily, if you're in a village, you'll have some wheat nearby that you can try to make a cake. But... Say this guy takes like five 
bones, you have to make five cake bones, which is uh, kind of a lot. Um, anyway, so that brings us just to the default wolf, uh, which if you are playing without a resource pack, is just going to look like a normal Minecraft wolf. But if you are playing with the Stacy Plays uh, resource pack that I have in my mod pack, which will be, uh, you will be able to download it when it comes out. Uh, this is what will happen. See, look, normal looking wolf. Tame you. And you have a blue and white striped tail. <laughs> this makes me so happy. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> My life is complete. I never even knew that this is like... I need to go check on Milk Toast. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and Milk Toast is fine. Uh, he's just knocked something over in the kitchen. Um, anyway, Stacy Plays Wolf, where are you going? I'm gonna set up all my wolves now and have them as a pack. Uh, all right, so this mod is available now to download. Uh, I went ahead and, and they made it available uh, right now so you can get it and start playing with it, but don't play with it too much. Wait for me. Uh, my new series will start very very soon look for it in the next couple of days or the next week on my channel I know you guys have been waiting so long for it and I really really thank you for being so patient uh, but this wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have taken my time you know I wouldn't have been able to meet amazing people that made Stacy's wolves a reality like my very own mod I wouldn't have uh, been able to work with people that made it so that the mod pack is going to be available to download um, and so I really hope that you agree with me that it was worth the wait because the series is going to be so much fun. I mean, this mod alone is like just the best thing ever. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Ender Dog. Ender Wolf is like, why? Uh, there you go. Uh, anyway, I cannot wait to hopefully collect uh, all of these wolves in survival. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all of them, but I'm going to try, obviously, uh, my best. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. The link to the mod download will be in the description, and I will see you guys in the Mesa very, very soon. Until then, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. <laughs>